Malang pusong na angkon ang corona sa kandidata sa Dakbayan sa Talisay, ang titulo isip bagong Mrs. Cebu 2022. Siya si Princess Josel May Bahamonde, usa ka recruitment HR kinsa mi angkon nga certified contestera sa mga beauty pageant mapa local o national contest. Si Princess malipayon isip usa ka inahan sa iyang nag-inusarang anak, kauban ang iyang very supportive nga bana. Wala usab niya kalimti ang iyang responsibilidad isip usa ka inahan taliwa sa iyang kabisi sa pagsalmot sa mga beauty contest. Karong buntaga sa iran tayong istorya sa tamis ng kadaugan din hilang sa GM Regional TV Live. ang bagong nakuranahan ng Mrs. Cebu 2022 ng representante sa Dakbayan sa Talisay. We have this morning, Queen Princess Josel May Bahamonde. Mayong buntag o maupay nga aga, Mrs. Cebu 2022, Miss Princess. O welcome din sa ito ang programa. Kindly greet all our Kapuso viewers. Mayong buntag o good morning to each and every one of you. And to all viewers, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Princess Giselle May Bahamonde, 25 years old from Tabanos, Talisay. And now I'll be representing Cebu for the upcoming Mrs. Philippines International 2023. Nice to meet you, Miss Princess Ogaron, <laughs> Queen na usab, si Queen Princess. First of yes. all, congratulations for being crowned as the newest Mrs. Cebu 2022. Busa. What's on your mind right now while wearing your crown? Well, what's in my mind right now while wearing this crown is I am so blessed with all the efforts, hard work, everything was worth it. And this crown is a great responsibility as I will be bringing Cebu into a bigger platform, which is the Mrs. Philippines International. And we're all very curious about you, Princess. How's life? being a beauty queen and at the same time a mom well being a beauty queen and a working mom at the same time it's kind of challenging but i can manage it because i believe it's all about time balancing and you need to balance time you need to set aside um free time you need to utilize your time wisely juggling between a mom between a beauty queen and of course being a working mom Miss Princess, mahiligo na baka o apil o pagsalmot ni ining mga paindigay sa kaanyag? Kani atong dalaga pa ka? Yes, I am. In fact, I already joined several local and national pageants. I already joined Miss Bagdan, Miss Lumanog, uh, Binibining Cebu 2018, uh, Miss Juicy Colo National Brand Ambassador, and Miss Republic of the Philippines, and the last one which is Miss Earth Philippines, which I was supposed to represent Cebu that time, but I got pregnant and I know everything has a purpose. Even if I wasn't able to represent Cebu that time, God find a way for me to pursue my life's ambition. That is why I am happy and fortunately I won Miss Cebu Philippines and I will be now representing again Cebu for Mrs. Philippines International. During the contest ba, unsa usaban ni Mohang? Dakong realization, kauban ang ubang mga kandidata, your queen sisters. Well, the lesson that I've learned or the realization is that to treat everyone fairly and of course to treat them with kindness. That uh, even if other people will pull you down, mm -hmm. even if other people will talk behind your back, treat them with kindness and give them positivity in life because a true queen is a kind-hearted queen. Huwag isip, Mrs. Cebu 2022, ang sa'yo gusto ni mong tutukan ng advokasya? Well, as Mrs. Cebu Philippines 2022, the advocacy that I want to promote is my advocacy since then, which is to promote the beauty and relevance of education with diversity and equality. And to end this interview, ang sa'yo mensahe sa paglaom na gusto ni mong ibilin sa ito ang mga kapuso viewers. To all my viewers out there, stay strong and positive until you achieve your dreams. So never give up as what I answer in my final interview question. Never give up on your dreams until you reach your goals in life. Because if you give up, you cannot be able to achieve the success. So stay strong and be kind to everyone around you. Daghang salamat, Mrs. Cebu 2022, Miss Princess. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.